Audio clip 0640 collapsing. This is take one of the all AMD build. It's all AMD build. That's because AMD sponsored this video. So did MSI. So there's some MSI parts. Woo! I'm gonna shoot the whole video like this. Is that cool? Is this bothering you guys? It's fine with me. Is it hot in here? Because it kind of feels like it's 360 degrees. All right, hey, how's it going everyone? This is an all AMD build because it's sponsored by AMD. This video is sponsored by AMD and MSI and it's uh, semi mid range. It's $841 with all the parts here. Primary objective here is gaming as, as it usually is. Now, let me quickly go down the parts here. We've got a Ryzen 5 2600. I did, 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 hold on. I, I think Kyle forgot to mention that he's actually giving this PC away. Way to drop the ball, Kyle. So stay tuned to the end of the video where he tells you exactly how to win it. And yes, it is international. I knew you were gonna ask that. See, I, I just know you so well. All right, this is Kyle, over and out. Back to you, Kyle. Six core, 12 thread CPU. And instead of using the included Wraith cooler, I decided to switch things up, go a little bit fancy and get a Hyper 212 Black Edition from Cooler Master. I found this for 30 bucks, so it didn't take a whole lot out of our budget, but it is gonna be a lot quieter and cooler than the Wraith cooler. I'm saying cooler a lot. And because of that, we're gonna have a nicer and easier time hitting four gigahertz on all cores when we're ready to overclock our 2600. We've got the MSI B450 Tomahawk. This is a lovely board that's gonna match with our gunmetal gray theme today. Look at that, look at just, look at those, look at those beautiful heat sinks. They're so, so shiny, so gray. This is a nice sweet spot board because it's got some bells and whistles on it, but not an overdose of features that you're probably not gonna use. That'll also drive the price of the board up. I snagged this for 110 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal considering the quality of the board, along with its various features and connectivity. Continuing in no particular order, we have a Silicon A55 SATA Rev 3 SSD. This is one of the cheaper SATA Rev 3 two and a half inch drives you can find right now. And even though this is 256 gig, you can actually get the one terabyte model for just over a hundred bucks, which I think is a, an absolute steal. So I'm just gonna pretend that this is a one terabyte drive and that it's the only drive that we're putting in the system. The drive uses three NAND. I've actually been using one in a personal system of mine with no problems. And honestly, for a mid range system like this, I think one terabyte is a good starting off point. You can always add additional storage down the line should you need it. For memory, we have Patriot's Viper Steel. And, and this is actually a kit I didn't really even know about until I started looking for modules that had gunmetal gray heat spreaders. It's gonna match the build really nicely. It's a 16 gig, two by eight gig kit of DDR4, 3200 speed, which I think is a nice sweet spot frequency for Ryzen as well. Powering our rig is a Seasonic Focus 80 plus gold certified 550 watt semi-modular unit. And it is super reliable. This thing has great reviews. Seasonic is a super trusted brand. I love their hardware. And while you could easily find a unit that's cheaper than this one with all the same specs, you'd be hard pressed to find one that's as high quality. Now, if you happen to be building an all AMD system that lands somewhere in the mid range, then the RX 590 is actually a pretty darn good choice, especially if you can find a good deal on it. I think this exact model I saw on Newegg today, the XFX Fatboy RX 590 was on Newegg for $219 after mail and rebate. Now let's not ignore the fact that Nvidia recently launched their GTX 1660 for the exact same price. The, the starting price is also $219. But if you're so inclined, AMD does have a couple tricks up its sleeve for starters, the RX 590 and the 580 for that matter, both have eight gigs of VRAM, which is two more gigs than either the GTX 1660 or the 1660 Ti. There's also a pretty sweet promotion going on right now where if you buy select AMD GPUs, including the RX 590, you get three free AAA games, including the Resident Evil 2 Remake, Devil May Cry 5, and Tom Clancy's The Division 2. It's basically 180 bucks worth of free games. So it's really not a bad deal, especially if you're interested in any of those titles. And last but not least, we have the case. This is the, uh, it's not a new case, by any means, let me move this stuff out of the way, but it's still a winner. This is the Fantex Eclipse P400 Tempered Glass in Anthracite Gray. I mean, for like the 70-ish dollar price point, you get so many features here and it actually looks and feels like amazing quality for the price. So altogether, I think it's gonna be a really nice suited case for this build. And that's pretty much it. That's all, that's all she wrote, folks. So uh, let's just start building stuff. Let's just start building. Oh my God, oh Jesus. <sighs> this never happened.
right, the build is looking awesome. Pads on the back to me. Good job, Kyle. But what's even cooler than a good looking PC is a well-performing one. So I've jumped into Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You can see here that we're at uh, 1920 by 1080. We're also running the highest preset, so we're maxing things out. Let's just jump in and see how it goes. Okay, so uh, I should mention that we are overclocked to four gigahertz on all six cores. Uh, we are running an XMP profile, so we're operating at the rated 3200 megahertz. And I've even overclocked the GPU slightly, gave it about a 5% boost within Global Wattman. And now we're running around 1660 megahertz. Oh, look at that view. Oh, I see him looking, he's looking at the booty. He's looking at the booty. Control yourself, man. I should be talking about the, the, the performance. 60 FPS, look at that, beautiful. Although it looks like the game defaults to, to V-Sync when, uh, when we have these little cinematics. Oh, no, it does not. Never mind. Oh, 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 hey, hey, cameraman. Respect, respect the women. Trying to get me another strike? Cause that's what it feels like. All right, can we skip the bullshit? Oh, I could have skipped that whole thing. What a waste. Okay, do you want to cook? No, I do not. Just leave me alone. So running through the village here, you can see we're not getting the greatest FPS hovering in the 30s and 40s. I think if, you know, I was actually playing this regularly with this system, I'd probably turn it down to high settings, at least for this particular title. Let's actually see what that does. Oh, she owns. Hi. Okay. And now we're hovering in the 40s and 50s. That's a bit more respectable. Oh, still, still dip into the uh, 30s once in a while there, but uh, definitely a bit more improved. And the game still looks great. Oh, boom goes the dynamite. That doesn't look good. Uh, I think someone farted. Must have had chili beans for lunch. I'm gonna go investigate. Still getting some pretty solid frame rates here. 60 FPS and up. The GPU is now at 71C, so it's, it's uh, raised up a little bit as it's gotten more heat soaked, but still not too bad at all. Looks like we've got some decent airflow going through the case. Our CPU is hovering still in the 50s and 60s, so really nothing to be alarmed about. That Hyper 212 Black Edition is doing a fine job keeping all those four gigahertz cores cool. All right, I think we have a pretty good idea of how the system performs in this particular title. Let's move on to another one. Give me some of that doom up on her. All right, so let's take a look at our video settings really quick. 1920 by 1080. Yeah. And oh, vertical sync off. Okay, except ultra preset Vulcan. Continue. Ooh, right at the chainsaw. I'll take it. Look at that, 140 FPS. All right, this is looking smooth as butter. Oh yeah, all we're missing is a free sync panel. Things are looking good, feeling good. My fingers are happy. Eyes are also happy. Ho oh, ho, you just got killed by a mid-range gaming PC. All right, let's jump into one more title, shall we? And then I can tell you how to win this fantabulous gaming rig. Let's try Resident Evil 2, because this is actually one of the games that comes included if you buy an RX 590 or RX 580. So might as well see how it performs with the card that it's bundled with. I don't feel like being scared right now, but I'll do it for you guys. Now there's really no graphics presets here in Resident Evil 2, so I've kind of just done a blend of high to very high settings. You can kind of just take a, a gander as I scroll through the settings here. We can always tweak the settings if the frame rate's looking a little choppy. Oh, but it is not. It is looking very solid. Over 100 FPS. Baby! Are there baddies here? Are there any baddies? Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Whatever, I'm not trying to play the game. I'm just showing you guys performance here, so... Oh my God! Why is it so ugly? I totally missed. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit. Oh, that's a grenade. I wanted to keep that, but you know, all things considered. All right, let's 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 watch him explode. Yay, that was satisfying. Woo, tanked our frame rate a little bit there. Luckily, I don't think there's any more assholes around here. I think we're, oh my God, there's one right there. Let's go this way. All right, nothing really interesting in here other than those ball of frame rates. Woo hoo. Oh shit, do you see that? You see the damn shadow? That is creepy as hell. Oh, this game's so good. It's so good, but I hate it so much. All right, so we've actually jumped up, by the way. I should, I should talk about hardware stuff. Uh, 74 see on the GPU. Still nothing to worry about. It is getting a little warm though. Looks like we're still hovering in the 50s and 60s for the CPU. It looks like it's pretty much going to stay there for the majority of titles. And we are eating quite a bit of memory here in this game at around six gigabytes. Oh no, it's locked. It's totally locked and there he is. Okay, I'm going to blow him up. Here we go. Yeah! That wasn't a waste at all. Oh, I have three bullets. I thought I only had one. Okay, well, I'm going to end the game here guys and uh, talk to you about the giveaway. It's pretty straightforward. Just follow the Gleam link in the description below to enter. MSI has actually been kind enough to pay for shipping anywhere in the US. I'm actually going to pay for the shipping if the winner drawn lives outside of the US. So it is international. Anyone can apply. The giveaway is active starting now and I'll draw a winner. Uh, I haven't even thought of that yet. Let's see. What day is it right now? Let's, let's figure this out. The 12th, April 12th is when I'm gonna draw a winner and announce it on my Twitter page at BitwitKyle. So I'm also gonna email the winner and be like, hey, congratulations, you won. Uh, reply to me within the next 24 hours or your prize is forfeited, you suck 
and it's going to somebody else. You guys know the drill. So that's pretty much how it's going down, y'all. Thank you, and good luck to everyone who enters. If you want to squeeze some extra karma points in there, feel free to tweet a thank you to MSI and AMD for the opportunity to win the gaming PC through the Bitwit giveaway, whatever the hell this is called. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Toss a like on it before you go if you enjoyed it, and get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really, really soon. Have a good one, guys. I will see you all in the next video.